All right, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install a custom ROM on an EVO 3D with HBoot 1.5. Uh, this is by far the easiest way to do it. This doesn't require any knowledge of ADB or doesn't even really require a computer. You just want to make sure you copy the custom ROM onto the root of the SD card. Uh, it must remain in the zip file and you want to make sure it's not in any folders. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to take you over to the program that we use. It's called, if I can find it, it's called Flash Image GUI, okay? And you want to make sure your phone is rooted with a custom recovery installed, okay? And once all that's done, you want to go ahead and open up the program. Okay, now this is compatible with uh, rooted HTC EVO 3Ds, CDMA, and GSM models, uh, the EVO 4G, EVO Shift, Vivid, uh, the Amaze 4G, LG Optimus, uh, models S, T, 1, V, and M, uh, Samsung Nessus S 4G, the Intercept, Transform, Moment, and Acclaim, and partial support for Samsung Epic. Okay, uh, I believe this app costs 99 cents at the uh, Google Play, or you can Google it, or whatever, however you get it. Just get a hold of it, and we're going to start from here. The first we want to do is browse, hit the browse button, and you want to search for that custom ROM that you downloaded, uh, but still in the zip file. You want to make sure it's followed by .zip. So I'm going to go ahead and select the last one, which is warm, and it's going to say this file is too large. That's fine. Just go ahead and hit yes. Uh, it's, it's going to uh, it's going to index the file. It's going to rip the kernel out, uh, and it usually takes around thirty to thirty seconds to a minute. So be patient. Let that work. Uh, I have uh, I have a video for the advanced way to do it using ADB and uh, you know fast boot. I have that posted for the advanced users. This method is pretty straightforward. Okay. okay. So that did what it had to do, and now what we want to do is go ahead and hit the flash button, the, the button that says flash image, we want to hit that. And we want to confirm this by hitting yes, and it's going to work. Of course if it asks you for super user permissions, you always want to hit allow. Okay, so that did what it had to do, and it was successful, and what we want to do is hit the recovery reboot, the middle button. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and shut down normally, but I'll have uh, a video coming right up to complete the process. Okay? Alright, so we're booting into recovery. Uh, I use Team Win for the simple fact that it's touch screen. Uh, the default, or should I say the most popular recovery is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I usually do is go ahead and do a wipe of the cache again, just to make sure. And the Davik. And I go ahead and do a factory reset, wipe data. Not system, just data.
back out of that and you want to find you want to find the ROM that you chose earlier uh, in the flash image GUI and for me that's going to be mean ROM you want to confirm that that's what you see here and you want to go ahead and flash now so we're going to let that uh, install and we'll be right back okay back now that that's done what I usually like to do is go back to the main menu and go to advanced and fix permissions that'll prevent any force closes uh, I'm go ahead and go back back again and we want to reboot we want to reboot system so we should boot past the boot screen uh, HTC screen the bootloader uh, and directly into the custom ROM So if we get past this screen, uh, we're good to go. And voila, this is the screen we wanted to see. Uh, this is the main ROM, main screen, and everything seems to be good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up, and that'll pretty much be it. Uh, if you like the video, please rate, subscribe, and if you have any questions, be sure to send me a message. Alright, until next time, have a good one.